What's up guys, Jimmy here, and today I want to talk about the big input lag test that the French user Wide put together. And like in case you haven't seen it, I really highly recommend you check out the full blog post. He put this together, like this looks like a lot of work, and he kind of set a new standard for how we should um, make these kind of input lag tests. So big props to him. And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a link to his Twitter as well. He's he's like a really cool guy. I've talked to him a couple of times already, and I even made a video with him that like it wouldn't have been possible without his knowledge and his access to the Street Fighter V game engine, where we kind of like uh, discovered an input bug with the, the the buffer system in Street Fighter V. That was quite interesting. But here we have a completely different issue, and that is input lag. Not only in Street Fighter V, but in all PlayStation 4 games, and how Street Fighter V compares to that. So here are the results in one picture, and as you can see, Street Fighter V is dead last in terms of input lag on the PlayStation 4. What is really interesting, however, is Wide uh, did also a test on PC for Street Fighter V. And on PC, the average lag for Street Fighter V appears to be 3.4 frames of input lag, which puts it right next to Guilty Gear and Street Fighter IV. So how come the PlayStation 4 is so much worse? And for that, we kind of have to take a look at the stability measure, which is really, really important here. I think the main reason the stability measure exists in the first place is because of how messed up the input lag in Street Fighter V is. Because, like, every time there's an update, that, like there's a balance patch in Street Fighter V, there's a new character gets released, there are a couple of reports every single time that claim that the input lag in Street Fighter V got lowered. The problem is we never really get any confirmation, because when others do the test, they either get like sometimes they get the same results or some others claim no, it actually got worse, input lag is higher now. So we, we never really get any confirmation. Why? Because of the stability. Street Fighter V is a really, really unstable game as you can see in this chart. But what does this even mean? What is the stability? So the stability is defined as the probability of having the same input lag with the same timing. And this is like really important and I'm gonna kinda get a little bit technical here, but it's not that hard to understand, so I'm gonna break it down for you. So Street Fighter V is a 60 FPS game, just like pretty much any other fighting game. So one frame lasts for 1 60th of a second, which is approximately 16.6 .6 milliseconds. What we can do now is we can split up that time frame, that 16.6 that .6 milliseconds, and ask ourselves, okay, if I hit a button on the fifth millisecond of any given frame, how likely is it for me to properly predict how much input lag this move is gonna have? So let's take a look at Blaze Blue on the PlayStation 4 as a good example for a game with a high stability rating. And for that, let's take a look at the very first row. Kinda looks kind of complicated right now, but essentially what the first row is just saying is a button was pressed 15 times on the first millisecond of any given frame. And the result was 15 out of 15 times the input lag was 3 frames. If we take a look at the 15th millisecond row now, then the result is a little bit different there. Once again, a button was pressed 15 times on the 15th millisecond of any given frame. And the result was 3 out of 15 times the input lag was 3 frames, and 12 out of 15 times the input lag was 4 frames. And the reason why this is the case is you're getting kind of close to the next frame. And the closer you get to the next frame, the higher the input lag is going to become. And this is very normal. This is exactly what we expect. And uh, yeah, this is a good example of a game with a high stability rating. Basically, whenever you press a button, when you know the exact moment you press the button in Blaze Blue, you can properly predict pretty much what input lag you, you, you're gonna have. So let's take a look at Street Fighter V and why it has such a horrible stability rating of 43%. And I mean, if we just take a look at the very first row. So in this case, the test was done with Kami's Crouching Medium Punch. Kami's Crouching Medium Punch was hit 20 times. So the button press was 20 times on the very first millisecond of any given frame. And the result was 2 out of 20 times the input lag was 4 frames, 5 out of 20 times it was 5 frames, 9 out of 20 times it was 6 frames, and 4 out of 20 times it was 7 frames of input lag for Kami's Crouching Medium Punch. And this is the reason why the stability rating is so bad. It's because even if you know the exact moment a button was pressed in Street Fighter V, 
you don't know how much input lag you're gonna get. And this is bad. Street Fighter V is a pretty big exception here, keep that in mind. Pretty much any other fighting game tested had a stability rating, like a really high stability rating. So this is something Capcom needs to address at some point. And it actually gets even more interesting from, from now on, because Y discovered this is this is not a coincidence. Like there's there's something wrong with the PlayStation 4 version of Street Fighter V here. So after getting those really weird stability issues with Street Fighter V, he decided to plot the input lag of Street Fighter V over the testing time in frames. And uh, the result is pretty interesting. As you can see, there's like, like it's it's periodical, which means that um, within a time frame of approximately 60 seconds, like a minute, um, the input lag changes every 20 seconds. And this just blew my mind. When I saw this the first time, this totally blew my mind because this explains everything. This explains why people keep reporting new results with with input lag in Street Fighter V every time there's a new update because like they happen to do the input tests right at like the first 20 seconds of a minute or something like that. If you do that, you will get a much lower average result than if you do a test and you press the button at the last 20 seconds of any given minute. So this is bad and this is totally something that Capcom screwed up. Keep in mind we're looking at offline gameplay here, okay? This is tournament setting. This is not like some weird lag that you experience online. This is, you press a button offline at EVO and you don't know when the button is gonna come out, okay? It's really, really bad and I really hope Capcom is gonna do something about it. Like, fortunately, a lot of people seem to be talking about this blog post. It got shared a lot on Twitter. I'm really happy about this. So maybe Capcom can't ignore this one. So that's it for today's video. I initially wanted to cover a completely different story in this video. I just want to start with like the blog post about the variable input lag. But yeah, it turns out I think I shouldn't do that. I think I should make it into another video so it doesn't get buried here. It's related to the variable input lag. And uh, yeah, there, there are a lot more implications to this. And that's what I want to cover in an upcoming video. So yeah, not today though. As I said, I don't want it to get buried. So you gotta wait a little bit longer. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you soon.